Hello everybody, today's makeup tutorial is airport makeup and a lot of you guys are probably going to be like, what is airport makeup? And the ones who requested it are going to be like, oh yay, airport makeup, finally Cassandra. Um, so yes, I'm aware this is a little bit overdue, but this is actually what I wore to Chicago. And you guys know that I went to Chicago if you follow me on Twitter. Um, there's Chicago posts too, so go check out this in the other personal channel if you go to like the video tab bar. Um, or if you just go to the page and search through videos. But, um, yeah, this is what I wear on the airport. And what is airport makeup as opposed to traditional makeup? Airport makeup is what you're going to wear to be comfortable. To the airport, I wear sweatshirt and just like sweatpants. Reason why is because I wanted to be comfortable. On the airplane, you do not want to touch up your makeup. Maybe when you're getting off, you're seeing family or friends and you want to look good, but you don't want to feel like you have this cakey stuff on your face for three, four, five, ten, twelve hours, however long you're doing. And you don't want your, you know, makeup to sweat off. You don't want your eyeliner to run, um, things like that. And we didn't even do lips on this. You guys can apply a small gloss, but, um, totally optional and you might want to just do that at the end when you're getting off the plane to see whoever you're seeing. But this is a tutorial that you don't really have to touch up. It's perfect for the airport. It's actually quick so that if you're late for the airplane you can like hurry it up and go. Um, it still looks great, makes us look fresh, makes us look awake instead of tired. And it's really just a great way to pull everything together. So I will link you guys to Chicago videos and news and stuff like that. And I'm sorry for the lack of videos. I am back. I am coming to you daily again. So sorry. There was like two days that I didn't post a video. And it was killing and eating away at my self-conscious. But that is all. I will show you guys how to get this amazing airport makeup. So to do this tutorial, we have to start out with a really good base. And what a base is, is basically a primer. Because we are not using foundation in this, and we want to be really comfortable, light coverage, um, but still look good in our skin, um, we do need something for our powder to stick to. So if you guys probably click around here or check the bottom tab, there is a link to how to make this. And this is, this is a cream. Um, oh, there's a cat brush back there. Um, this is a cream that I kind of came up with and not really created, but I mixed other creams in order to get it the way I wanted it. And this is something that is like a primer for your face. It'll help all these things that we're using today stick. And additionally, um, it's really, even under normal foundation, an amazing, amazing thing to use because it will kind of protect your face um, from the different toxins and stuff in makeup. So it's kind of like a barrier between your skin and foundation and other products. And um, it really makes your makeup help you instead of working against you for general skincare. And it's got sunscreen, acne fighting ingredients, um, all sorts of stuff like that. And when you wear it every day, you know it's a lot better than just having foundation on there. So this is what I've been using, um, you know, as a primer. And I'll link you guys to that video. But this is what we're going to want to apply. Very quickly, before that dries, you guys can take any powder or paddle brush um, and any of your favorite pressed um, or loose kind of foundation powders. And I'm just using a pressed one, but you're going to want to take this really thickly on the tip of the brush, and then you're going to want to pat it on. Um, and this is a great way to get coverage, as you guys can see it's sticking. Um, once we pat it on completely and kind of mattify the surface of our skin, we can go in and kind of do swirly blendies so that that way it looks like flawless coverage. Not completely flawless. We're going to see a couple of spots through, but, you know, decent coverage. So now that we've blended in, um, we have kind of like the perfect base for the rest of our makeup and the reason why is because you see we can still see little blemishes through but from an overall perspective it's still very pulled together we're not going to be super self-conscious it's light our skin can breathe on the airplane um, and you know we don't feel like we're caking on like I don't even feel like I have makeup on I feel like I might have just applied a normal moisturizer and I'm just feeling good. Um, but next we're going to go into the rest of our face, which is going to be kind of blush and contour. For blush and contour, I want to do something that is comfortable and not too dramatic. Um, because, you know, if we're wearing sweatpants and t-shirt and stuff like that, we don't want to be way too over the top. So I'm just going to take this on a slanted brush, and I'm going to apply my blush um, under my cheekbone, almost where my contour would go. And it's only going to go a little bit on top of my cheekbone, and the reason why is because this will act as both our blush and our contour. If you've done that, you can blend out. 
And I always like to blend out my blush. Because that's it for contour, we don't necessarily have to highlight, but we are going to kind of fake a nose job. And I did this in, this is really similar to I Don't Have Time for Makeup Makeup that I actually did in Chicago. Um, but you just want to do a little stripe right down your nose, and that'll fake a straight nose, make you look like you had a nose job something. Um, it just makes the illusion of a straighter nose. And that really, really helps us because we don't want to run around looking crazy. Am I like half in the light, half not in the light? I might try to change this. After we've done that, the next thing we're going to do is go in with eyes. And for our brows, a lot of people like to fill them in. In this tutorial, you really don't have to. Um, we don't want to be feeling like we have a bunch of goppy goo on our eyes, things like that. Um, so I'm just going to shape mine naturally. And I know I need a tweeze, so don't mention it. Um, because I'm aware. Uh, but you guys can shape your brows however you please. If you really, really want, you can fill them in if your brows are super, super sparse. But otherwise, if you look fine without it, this is the perfect way to just pull yourself together. And I would do this every day, um, whether or not you're, like if you don't naturally do your eyebrows, just do a little bit of shaping and you will look like a million bucks. <laughs> Next for eyes, we don't want to have a lot on there, but at the same time we want to look good. So I'm only going to use a couple different colors, and this is great for beginners too. I'm taking a 219, and on this I'm going to apply kind of a medium brown. I'm going to be applying this one from the Coastal Scents palette. And the reason that I'm, um, all my colors are from the Coastal Scents palette in this eye series, this eye part of the tutorial, is because... Um, this is great. This is what you can take on a trip if you guys have palettes like that or if you have MAC palettes or if you make your own. But I felt like this was inexpensive. Um, it's available to most anybody. And you guys can just, you know, take it on a plane with you wherever you go. It's not super, super hard to carry around. So I'm just applying that right to my crease in a little windshield wiper motion. applied that there is nothing on my 222 and I'm just gonna blend out these very little edges I'm gonna go right back in on the same 222 and take the color right underneath and that is just a tad darker of a brown and the reason why is because we're gonna put this in our outer crease and it's still gonna just pull all this together so this is exactly what we did before super simple only we're not going all the way over we're just staying in the outer edge any highlight color that you prefer I'm choosing kind of a pinkish whitish one that's very similar to my natural brow skin tone um, and you just want to apply that right in this tippy top corner kind of the very highest arch of your brow you can then take out your fan or 222 again and just sweep that in so it looks natural um, we're also going to take the exact same brush which is the 239 the exact same color and I am going to apply this just to the very, very lid. If you guys were to close your eyes, it would be right where your eyeball is. And the reason why we do this is because it makes our eyes look bigger. It makes them look like they're popping, like, you know, really ballooned out and pretty. Um, and it also gives us, you know, a difference in color on the lid without doing too much. And this is really simple, um, so I feel like beginners can do it too. And also on an airplane, it's not too much. You know, we don't look like we have too much makeup on, and it just works. I'm taking this and just dusting out the edges and I'm not actually going over the middle because that would make it look really, really um, kind of too blended out. I'm just going over the very, very edges so that it doesn't look like a gigantic circle. Like that. Afterwards we're going to go in with mascara and mascara is one of the most important things because it makes your eyes brighten up, it makes you so awake and so alive. Um, if you guys need to curl your lashes, please do. Um, but I'm just going to apply my mascara and what happens is that I'm using a black so when the black kind of pokes, when the white color on our lid kind of pokes through the black, it even makes our lashes look longer. So because eyeliner is so temperamental, this tutorial actually does not involve any. And if you guys need to make your ma or eyeliner stick all day long, it's very easy to do. I will teach you guys how. Um, but for this, this eye look, this entire look is very lazy, pulled together. Eyeliner can be hard for beginners too. Sometimes they don't want it in their part because it's a weapon. Um, things like that. And um, eyeliner can get messy throughout the day if you don't do it right. And I just didn't think it was really necessary for this tutorial. So this is my airport makeup. This is actually what I wore to the airport both days. 
Um, you feel comfortable, you feel fresh, you're still looking good, but you're not too overdone, and it just works out perfectly. So if you guys are kind of on a little bit of a time crunch, want something cute um, to go, maybe you're seeing your family right when you get off the plane or a friend or something, um, you can be on the flight without having to do a ton of touch-ups. You can feel confident. Um, you can have makeup on that's not going to, you know, make you feel like you have makeup on. Hope you guys enjoyed this. I will definitely um, talk to all of you about Chicago vlogging. Be sure to check it out if you haven't already. And yeah, we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.